Good evening, Tennessee Valley. You're watching News 19 at 5. Thanks for joining us for News 19 at 5. I'm Tamika Alexander. Ben Hoover has the night off. We begin tonight with the Huntsville Housing Authority giving updates on some of the projects they say they're considering that will be wins throughout the year. News 19's Nikki Marker has the details. Community partners gather today at Huntsville Housing Authority's annual meeting. Their main focus, how they are improving affordable housing for the people of Huntsville. We just kind of inform the community on updates from the Housing Authority give our developers and community leaders the opportunity to come together and see what we can do to impact affordable housing in the area. One of the main updates, details behind a $50 million grant awarded to the city. Well, that $50 million grant is going to give us an opportunity to redevelop our Butler Terrace community, which is one of our oldest public housing sites. Antonio McGinnis is the executive director for Huntsville Housing Authority, and he says this grant gives them the opportunity to transform the area. I grew up in public housing myself, and to see a neighborhood be able to be transformed like this one is going to be transformed is going to do wonders for the young people who look like me who grew up in their neighborhood now and um, going to give them opportunity to just dream big and, and feel like they're a part of this bigger community that we live in. Jennifer Riley Collins serves as the regional administrator for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. She was the guest speaker at the luncheon and shares where Huntsville stands among other affordable housing markets in the region. There's a housing crisis across America and some of the issues that Huntsville is facing when it comes to a housing crisis is no different than communities across the country. This new development in the Mill Creek area will add 700 new homes and looks to help this crisis. In Huntsville, Nikki Marker, News 19. Besides the Butler Terrace upgrades, there are no new projects in the pipeline, but McGinnis says they will continue to focus on the upkeep of their current affordable housing options.